On July the 1st, 2012, Croatia may become the 28th member state of the European Union if Parliament and Council agree. Accession's been delayed by concerns about corruption and the attitude towards past war crimes. But most MEPs welcome the decision of their Foreign Affairs Committee, albeit with caution. We have uh, to take Croatia now and go on with the process with all the attention we have to give, especially to only, not only human rights, but the rule of law. Corruption remains an issue. Former Prime Minister Ivo Sanader is one of several senior figures on trial. Then there's homophobia, revealed in attacks against gay pride marches and even in school textbooks, only withdrawn after complaints under the Council of Europe's social charter. Uh, this program taught young people uh, that uh, homosexual relations are deviant. It promoted gender stereotypes. Bustling Zagreb gives little hint that almost one in five Croatians is unemployed, nor of the need to cut waste to avoid an economic crisis. The real worry is corruption, although Croatia is cleaning it up. When you're looking upon um, the scoreboard, how Croatia has been able to fulfil developing its uh, legal system, but also fulfilling and implementing the fight against corruption. Most people who have seen it have been uh, quite convinced that they are doing the efforts that are needed. Croatia's membership goes before the Brussels plenary session at the end of November and still requires agreement by member state governments. But even with strings attached for Croatia's leaders and businesses, the prospect of EU membership is music to their ears. Austerity is the guiding principle of the EU's 129 billion euro budget, which was finally hammered out between member states and parliament in the early hours of last Saturday. The MEP who led the negotiations for the European Parliament is happy that a compromise was found. Comme un compromis, c'est un compromis qui ne satisfait pleinement personne, mais dans le contexte extraordinairement difficile que traverse l'Union européenne aujourd'hui, il y avait de chaque côté dès le début la volonté d'aboutir. The crisis is taking its toll. A landslide victory in Sunday's election swept Mariano Rajoy to power. An unenviable victory, some commentators say, since the newly elected prime minister will have to implement painful measures in order to get the country's economy back on its feet. We wish uh, success of the new government of, of Spain. Uh, I'm quite sure that uh, uh, some tough reforms and austerity measures are necessary, so it will not be easy time for Spain. Another new face, at least in this position, was seen in Brussels on Monday. Lucas Papademos, Greece's newly appointed Prime Minister, called on European institutions for an inaugural visit. He may have been particularly interested in Commission President Barroso's plans for Eurobonds, which had been leaked to the press over the weekend. <laughs> 